Okay, so uh, uh, actually it's been very exciting for all of us here at the DLD for the past two days and and I'm sure that you all may be making some VC pitches or sales pitches in the maybe in the past two days here at the DLD and um, in fact it is my second startup and my first startup uh, our or my first company it was actually started when I was like 14 when so it was nine years back and uh, so it was actually an IT service company which I founded in India and uh, and actually when I started it in India it was it was extremely very hard for me to acquire maybe acquire fresh opportunities or how to acquire the business partners or the internet I mean uh, uh, I had started my first company from an internet shop in India because I didn't have a I didn't have a home computer when I started off with and uh, and at, the, and at the end of the day, I was like 14 years, and I didn't know, and I didn't know sales and marketing. So uh, I used to send out, I used to send out sales letter to some of these American firms on the internet, saying that okay, uh, I have skills to make websites for your firm, so I would like to know if you're if you're interested in my web designing services. So these companies used to say that, okay, we are very small, we so we operate out in some of the suburb cities in the U.S., so we don't need a website because we meet our sales target already. So I don't see a point in investing on a website or on an internet presence. And um, it was the same point. I felt that okay, in case if these companies uh, are so stupid that they are not investing on a website, so. Uh, it, it would actually be very hard for me to market my services, uh, uh, or it would be very hard for me to. It would be very hard for me to scale up my business. So um, I was really frustrated. So as an entrepreneur who was really young, I was like I had a sleepless night. I felt that okay. So in case if I start accepting this rejection from everybody, it would be it would be very hard for me to scale up my business. So so the next day morning, I so I I woke up and I went to the. I went to the yellow pages on the internet, and I made a I made a wild search called automobile spare parts on this yellow page website, and uh, I found out I found out hundreds of small sized uh, uh, maybe automobile enterprises which were like which had like 15 employees or 20 employees which were which were which were manufacturing automobile spare parts in the U.S. and uh, I started to list out I started to list out such companies from this yellow pages which didn't have a website. So I started to I started to shortlist such companies which uh, so which were not having a website but which had email addresses. So I I shortlisted such companies and I started to open up anonymous email accounts and uh, and I started to send emails to such companies indicating that okay uh, I'm interested to import your automobile spare parts and I would like to have a look at your website. So is there any way you could send me your website link? So uh, so all these companies which didn't have a website used to reply back, oh, okay, Mr. XYZ, we have not got a website until now, so my apologies, but you can find the attachments of our uh, of our service offerings or the product offerings. And, and from the same email address, I used to reply back that, okay, if you have not got a website, you don't meet my supplier standards, so we don't work with your company. And... Um, and so after a week, and after a week, I used to send them an email in my own name saying that, okay, uh, uh, so our company is able to make websites for 50 US dollars or 100 US dollars. I'm, I would like to know if you're interested. So, so from this rejection mode, we went into the acceptance mode. And, and at the same time, after a week, when I used to send them an email, I didn't want to make it sound very obvious to these companies. So, uh, so in the CC field of the email, I included all my friends' email addresses so that it looks like a mass mail which was being sent by accident to them. 